Alright, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm, it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Rome, Italy, Mountain. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Just out of range with the uppercut. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh. Oh. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. 
big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, a huge block there. Body kick now by Lee. Nice punch land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice body kick. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Double leg, take down. Doubles up on the jab. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Get in the to the body. Sam's going. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Able to check that kick as well. Lands flush with that right hand. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Well, this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Hands higher, hands higher. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big kick lands. Oh, nice right hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just a slip there. Nice. Spinning back fist. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Nice kick. Final seconds of round one. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Threw it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at the turtle in that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. 
Ali gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Caught that kick there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plan. Great kicks there. Big kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Head kick. Good stick. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Liver kick. How good is that right hand? Powerful leg kick lands. Checks the leg kick. Oh, perfect head kick there. Oh! Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Now connects with a right. Just unable to quite find that range. Slips the punch. Oh, huge Superman punch. Big punch lands through the middle. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by Lee. Back and forth we go. Straight right, he misses. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Effective punch there by Lee. Round three next. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. Well, what a round it was. And how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did. He executed. And it worked, right? 
no discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, oh, and kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big kick lands. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. There's no give on that leg. Oh, and he connects there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue Whoa! to wear on his own gas tank. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Straight right. Nice kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. His leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Good. Work. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Big leg kick land. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. And he caught the kick. He's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. It's okay, keep going, keep going. Big body kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, big shot land. Lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Nice straight punch. Beautiful body kick. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strike. Beautiful head kick. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Great punch. Fifteen seconds to go. That was a thudding leg kick. Whoa! That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far. 
ball tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he goes. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh, big punch lands. Real quick leg kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big leg kick lands. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of Just missed with the left there. Nice loop and punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round number four. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Good punch land. Back and forth we go. Punch is blocked. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Just misses with the jab there. Back to the jab now, no good. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Just misses there with the left. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Nice punch lands over the top. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Strike oh, lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. He's, he's limping now. Hands high, hands high. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Nice knee to the midsection there. Final minute to go here in round four. Right, okay, okay. Let's Let's Leg kick. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh, that's the, oh, that's the fight thus far. How's 
his opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well placed kick there by Lee. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Ooh, what a punch. Beautiful body to play right up the elbow. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Real nice body to play. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Stop. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Good jab. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You've got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step to get him to slow down and fight at your pace. Punch coming, it's blocked. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big punch land. What a body kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Some nice back and forth action here. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Flush right hand is true. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Right punches there. Big body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Under three minutes now to go round five. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Punch over the top. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Beautiful kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Big kick. It almost looked like he went and lived there for a second. Look at the 
angle of that nice body kick. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat. Thunderous leg kick rounds him a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Nice leg kick. Beautiful combination there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice right hand, John. 45 seconds remain in the round. Straight punch lands. Oh, big head kick lands. Beautiful body kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Lands with a right hand. Big inside kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. What a fight! Huh. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his.